he can't talk right now. Why? Oh, because he's dead. Max. (laughs) I love a Taylor Swift quote. (sighs) Well, you know. Every gay has got a bleach blonde face. Leo is stuck in it. It's Leo. (laughs) I am um, dead, deceased, gone, (laughs) passed on. I want to copy that. Was a good one. (laughs) (laughs) I think. Okay, mine was a quote, but it wasn't that funny. It's fine. Whatever. Another time. You don't have to be. You'll get better. Yes. Oh my god. I don't know so, why I'm such a cunt. It's too easy for me. You know? He puts the cunt in country. Max. <laughs> <laughs> there well, you go. There's another one. <laughs> That's good. Anyway, so and we are The Ladies, ladies Who Lunch. Today's episode is called Under the Tuscan Come. Yeah, because apparently I need to go I need to travel all the way back to Tuscany to bleach my head. To basically dip my entire face in bleach for 45 minutes and then come out and I have peroxide princess. <laughs> it's 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 a weird color. It's half piss blonde and half white. It's reverse ombre. Yeah, because it goes from it's, yellow to white to well, yellow. No, to it's white. like whiter at the top. Like the roots got whiter than oh, the rest. Oh, but you didn't see this beautiful stripe here. Oh, no, I'll show you later. <laughs> I'll show you later what I mean. We'll get into that. You know, when you let uh, friends do your hair. Anyway, <laughs> so this episode is called Under the Tuscan Come because I went uh, to Tuscany, where I'm from, for 10 days. 10 and, days too long. Yeah. <laughs> Nine and days too long. I don't know. So I just, I got back yesterday. Let me tell you about how I got back because I think, <laughs> well, let's start in reverse. <laughs> what happened? So I traveled back to Italy from Amsterdam with my car because we talk about this in episode two, I think. But anyway, so... The Leo Mobile. Yeah, the Leo Mobile, episode one. Le- the Leo Mobile uh, was going to be sold and I obviously had to drive it from Amsterdam to Tuscany. So that's that's what I did. <laughs> and first of all, let me tell you about this trip. It was lovely. Ten hours from Amsterdam to Austria where I slept. Um, ten hours where nobody... I, I don't I don't see my phone. I'm just singing. I'm blasting music and on the radio. Are you I doing full it. albums? Oh my god. <laughs> just full. Or me on repeat one song. Oh just ten hours. <laughs> That's me. It was voice memos. Just voice memos of myself <laughs> singing. So, ten hours. Ten hours. It was great. Amazing. I loved it. So I stopped in Innsbruck because my friend told me you can sleep at my place. And Love friends where you can sleep over. Yeah. <laughs> You got to have friends all over Europe, so you've got beds. Mama, I have friends everywhere at this point. South Korea. Do you want to go to South Korea? We go to South Korea. Japan. We go to Japan. Okay. Antarctica. Maybe not. But (laughs) maybe not. None of it. Not even. (laughs) Not even. New Zealand. You want to go to New Zealand? Let's go to New Zealand. Ireland. Anyway. Um. So, um, but I've known this person since we were kids because we went to high school together. Anyway. So she says, "Perfect. You can sleep at mine." And I'll meet. I, I told her, "I'm gonna. It's gonna take me ten hours to get there. I'm leaving now." She says, "Great. I'll see you later." I get there on time. And she's late. Set your timer, bitch. You had ten hours. I let me let, let me tell you about my day. I mean, it was a lovely day, but driving ten hours, it's kind of tiring. Non- I, did you? How many times did you stop? About two or three. Okay. I was going. Yeah. I didn't care. I didn't care. Um. I, I parked the car in one of those underground garage spaces, whatever, in Innsbruck. And then I get out of the car and she's like, I'm going to be there in a minute. I'm like, so I, I mean, had to a minute. Wait. That's fine. Girl, yeah. a minute is never a minute. Yes. Yeah, Gay fair. people and no girls, can get a minute, a minute is minute. never a minute. <laughs> By the time you said that sentence, the minutes passed. The minutes passed. Exactly. We're on. So- <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I see her and then she tells me, oh, you can't sleep at mine. And I'm like, Okay. Would have been nice to know. I, I think she might have. She might have. And what is said the reason? Something. Why could you not sleep at her place? Because she is studying at university, and she is. Uh, uh, Does she, she lives live in a residence? Is that in, where? Yeah, in like, like a college dorm kind of thing. Oh, I'm so sorry, you tried to sleep there. Oh, <laughs> apparently it's like a prison because they have cameras everywhere. But the thing was, because of Corona, you can't bring people in. Which isn't Corona over? 
Well, we're on to World War Three. It's the, not in the south. It's not south of Europe. It's masks, and QR codes everywhere. Let me tell you. Oh. Um, which is whatever. I, I don't want to be canceled, so we're gonna cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> we're anyway, trying to be international. Trying to be international, and she says, "You're sleeping. At, you can sleep at a friend of mine." And I go, "Okay." Well, I'm, I mean, I've slept at worse places in my life, so that's totally fine. I meet this person. I've had some one night stands. It's fine. Exactly. Lovely. The loveliest straight person I've ever seen in my life. He gives me the keys, like right. Like he sees me, he gives me the keys. I didn't even need the keys, but it's like a friend of Laura's, a friend of mine. Oh my God, let's just be friends. It was lovely the whole evening. And I was just like, oh my God, this is great. And I slept. Like he had he had a just room. Changing the perspective of straight people. It was better than my house. <laughs> yeah, changing the that's <laughs> Strap Papa? Strap Papa? We this, like, yeah. um, <laughs> You? <laughs> Strap Papa? This episode, they're better. They're better. Complete I mean, I also met two other friends of hers that were complete assholes, but we're not gonna go into that. But anyway, one and three. One and one and three is, is a good shot pass hot. I had a room for myself, a lovely bed. Um and by the way, I went to bed at one AM. I woke up smiling with my eyes already lubricated at five. Five, I slept four hours and I and I woke up refreshed. I don't know what the, I don't I don't know what the fuck he had in the. Air. I think something was in the air. I don't know, maybe cocaine. He had a, he had a diffuser, some eucalyptus. <laughs> some eucalyptus. <laughs> that eucalyptus got me right Ooh. together. It got me together. Um, so I wake up four hours after I went to bed, and he left me a note by my shoes with a Red Bull saying, "You're gonna need it." Oh. <laughs> You're going to need it. But, so that's <laughs> sexual. I think it also drew, drew a little heart or something. I kept the note because it, it was so sweet. I was like, I don't even know you. And what, you left me a little note. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know his name. I just paused. Julio. Julio. Julio? Yeah. Did let me you? Check. Let me check. Let you check. Let me check. No. Let me... <laughs> it's better that you don't know. What's his name? He's a better I'm... person than you are. Oh, my God. Definitely. Yes, I'm right. His um, name was Julio. Okay, okay. Still. Look. <laughs> Still. He knows me. I might know him. No, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might know him. And yeah, no, I, and I left and I felt like me and my bestie will find me in the Austrian Alps driving at 5.30 a.m. listening to Cher and singing. It was just me on the road. Not even the sun is out. I'm having the time of my life. Anyway, so I get back. I get back to Tuscany, and then we sell the car. Lima Bill is gone. Did you get to have a goodbye? Oh, I did. I gave it like, <laughs> a, like, like a, hand... a soldier kind of thing. Oh, I was like <laughs> hand on the hood, like. I felt it's been so a slice. Good. Oh my god! Oh my god! But the point of this whole story was because I drove, I left my passport and my ID in Amsterdam. The only thing I had was my license. Which, to be fair, in Europe, you only need that if you're walking or driving. Which around. to me is shocking. Well, yeah, because I you can know. travel throughout Canada with my driver's license. Fair, fine, but like I'm still in the same country. I'm not going to. I'm not hopping over the cross the border in the states with my driver's license. Well, you know, I guess that's that's a good thing about the EU. Tell the Brits, anyway. <laughs> 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 Too late. Um, <laughs> so I left everything here. Which meant, and I, I, by the way, I found out yesterday night. So before I left, I was doing my suitcase and I was just like, oh, where did I put my passport? Because normally I always have my passport. So I'm, I'm looking around. I'm not seeing it. And I'm panicking. I'm like, okay, so I don't see the passport. And by the way, I had to like go. Like what, you thought you packed it? I thought I had it with me because why would I not have it? Because I... In my head, I'm like, oh, and then I realize, I'm like, oh my god, I drove. I left it in the drawer in my room. And sure enough, I messaged my housemate, and I was like, girl, can you go into my room? Like, don't mind the sex toys everywhere. <laughs> Just <laughs> so it's under the sling. Um, under the <laughs> there's my passport. <laughs> Just on the ground. My room smells like it smells of rubber. I'm not even joking. Like if I don't, if I... what's that song by Aquaria? Burn Rub rubber. Yeah, burn rubber. <laughs> yeah. That's my room. <laughs> Minus the burns. Okay. So I was it's like. It's just okay. rug burn. Th th it was that serious that I had to be like, oh, you know, 
never mind all the shit that might be laying around, which nothing was out. But anyway, so sure, uh, sure enough, my passport was here. Mm. And then I don't have any ID. Apart from Why isn't your ID in your wallet with your driver's license? Because I never. So my ID is something that you, an Italian ID, you don't need it. Like I've, I have my license and my passport. That's more than enough. When I but lived isn't in it UK, like a similar card or does it look completely different? Like the ID. Like it my, looks kind of. It, so the new ver. I mean, I would say new. I've, mine expired in 20. My first ID expired in 2020. And that's the one that I had. Because I never redid it. Because I never, when I lived in the UK, who cares about a national ID card? You only need the license and the passport. And I always had some form of ID like that. Oh, so it's been expired for a while. For two years. Okay. And sure enough, that wasn't enough. <laughs> but you're here now, so tell us. So I'm here the now. The fuck did you do? <laughs> so I didn't sleep Whose at all. Whose dick did you suck? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wish. No, I wish. I messaged you the night before and I was like, I don't have my ID, so I had no I, I had no faith. And you said, You dumb slut. <laughs> yeah. I would say, I wouldn't be surprised if we never saw Leo again. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. that's truly Unless you walked. <laughs> unless I, I I was thinking a blah blah car or whatever. <laughs> Train, flicks bus, whatever. By the way, none of this was available. I was like, I'm renting a car, two thousand euros. I'm not renting a car. <laughs> So, Never mind. I spent the whole night. I didn't sleep at all. And I just spent the whole night just trying to think of options. And then uh, I was so I, I was running from Florence and my dad was uh, driving me to Florence in the morning at 6 a.m. So he shows up and then I'm like, I told him the night before. And uh, he said, my dad always goes for the worst. Like, I'll tell him. Parents like, usually do. Yeah. Like, I remember one time I was like, oh, my my a tooth in the back of my throat hurts. It's like, oh, they're going to have to remove it. I'm like, oh, calm down. <laughs> and then it was just an infection. It's fine. I still have my tooth. Okay. Um, just a little eucalyptus on there. And good to go. And also, it's so funny because my dad goes like either really dramatic when it's concer- when it concerns me, when it concerns everybody else, he doesn't give up. <laughs> well, that's nice. One time I told him. Dad, oh my God, Lancaster flooded. People are rowing boats. And I'm. it's it's crazy. The whole town is flooded. But I'm driving with Rahul and we're going to his house and I'm safe and I'm fine. And he said to me, we need to give him some oil to thank him. I'm like, okay, so you don't understand. The whole town is flooded. It's like, yeah, yeah, no, I get it. But I'm just thinking I'm of sending gifts. some olive oil. I'm sending some olive oil over. <laughs> that was the concern. Anyway, so he picks me up and he was it, the, the night before he told me, oh, you're going to have to stay and redo the ID card. I'm like, dad, I don't I don't want. First of all, I don't want to stay because it's going to take days. Also, I'm a resident here, so I can't re- I have to call the, em- the the embassy here. I can't do it there because I'm not a resident there anymore. So. Right. Anyways, mass. big ass mess. Big ass mess because I'm a resident in Amsterdam and I was stuck in Italy, but I'm an Italian citizen. So. With no passport. <laughs> How did that work? Mm. I get to the airport. I'm shaking. Sh- I'm literally shaking because I'm panicking. I-, I see this. By the way, nobody is at the airport. Florence Airport is kind of small. Nobody's there. And I'm thinking, it's going to be pit- like, people that don't want to work in the morning because I know my people, okay? I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that. I see this woman and I'm like, hi, I'm panicking. She goes, don't panic. What's up? And I'm like, I've never... Had a reaction like this in Italy. Right. <laughs> Normally it's, huh? That's, that's the... Cacazzo. No, no I'm, I'm over-exaggerating, but people at the airports are not nice. Period. It just, in general, all over the world, I doubt, you know, they're not the most accommodating. But maybe at like 7 a.m., they just had their coffee. Nobody's there. Maybe I just... They got laid last night. Exactly. Everybody got or laid. early this morning. Everybody was in a really good mood because this woman said... Right, you don't have a passport, and you don't. And, oh, I told her I don't have a passport. I don't have ID, and she goes, "Mm, <laughs> mm. <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to do?" Yeah. <laughs> she goes, "Okay, you talk to that woman at uh, that woman at uh, check in at the check in uh, desk, and uh, and then come back and tell me what she says because it might be a problem." I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, I keep shaking. I'm shaking. Like I'm just, I'm I'm sambaing my she's, way around. She's an actress. <laughs> I was just dancing the bachata just to get to this fucking desk. I'm like, By the way, I'm shaking in real life right now, even though you can't see me, which is stupid. So I, the mic? Yeah. No. I slither my way to the front of the queue because I'm Italian. 
Uh, no, because I was in America. Because there was no one at the airport. And I just said, I'm sorry, can I, can I just ask you for, can I just ask you a question? She goes, sure. I'm like, again, a reaction I've never seen in this case. Why is everyone so positive? I tell her the situation. I'm like, look, I'm a resident in Amsterdam. I need to go back home, but my passport is back home. And I drove with the car here. And she goes, okay, do you have a license or some form of ID with your picture on it? I'm like, yes, even though I bleached my entire face <laughs> before and long hair and a bunch of shit. But anyway, so I show her my ID. I, By the way, by chance, I also had my birth certificate with me. I was like, do you want to see my birth certificate? <laughs> Every document I my have. My parents, their marriage license. <laughs> yeah, what do you need? <laughs> Somebody else's. I'm just smuggling this shit. <laughs> um, and then I, I also show her proof of residence here on my phone. The PDF. like Also, oh, PDF of the passport. I got everything. She goes, okay, let me let me call my superior. She calls this uh, person. And, he's, and then she sounds positive. And then she hangs up the phone and she goes, okay, great. So what we're going to do is I'm going to... I'm, I'm, I'm at the gate, okay? So I'm not going to ask you for your passport at the gate. Also, I'm just realizing we probably shouldn't say, don't say what airline you flew with. I, I don't even remember. Okay. It's gone. Yeah, you don't even remember Julio, so. Uh, was, anyway, <laughs> she says, I'm at the gate. Don't worry. It's not going to be a problem. Um, but if by any chance the police or whoever checks your documents, just say that you lost it after you checked in. And I was like, Great. I see we're on the same wavelength right now. I'm like, yes. You. Shady Italians. Shady. I love. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> no, but it was. I, I see. I love this thing about my country is that. For example, like if I call my doctor and I have a problem, he's not going to be like, OK, the first av- available appointment is in three months. He's going to be like, come tomorrow. I'll squeeze you in. I love that. People help each other. Um. So sure enough. We get to the gate and I'm the only one that didn't have the passport or whatever. She goes, she, she gives me an eye. Like, she's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, go. It's fine. Don't worry. Yeah. And then I just, I'm here. Thank God you're recognizable. Thank That's God. It. Thank God she bleached her eyebrows <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, I was thinking oh, that was guy? like, mm-hmm. I'm, look, I'm pretty, you can't, you guys can't see me. They're but probably I'm pretty just rec- like, oh, this poor albino kid. Let's <laughs> let him go through. I he look. Need, he needs to go back where there are lots of clouds and no sunlight. Yeah, exactly. I look like I lived in a basement for twenty five years. Or just like let's let's posh it up. You look like Legolas. I look <laughs> a gay version of that. A gay Legolas with with brows that are also bleached because why not? Anyway, cut to Amsterdam airport. I get out of that plane and I'm still inside. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, yeah, out. you gotta show. ID coming in, no? No, no, because it's in Europe, you don't. Mm. Well, you know, talk to the Brits. Um, <laughs> See how they like it. See how they like it. Anyway, no passport control. There's no border control in Europe from with European flights. However, like, I'm not going to go. I should. I, I mean, if I don't have an ID, I'm not going to go around and like just just <laughs> parade. Check me. <laughs> exactly. I'm not going to be like, oh, I wonder what I have but in the suitcase. There is something in me in airports. I have the need to look guilty. Oh, I'm not. I'm carrying absolutely nothing, but I'm just like, I want to look like I've got drugs up my butt. Like, why? I'm oh. just like, I'm making eye contact. I'm like, oh, oh. I, oh do I'm I have like, why am I me? <laughs> Why is he walking funny? <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like, you know why? I don't want to get stopped. I don't want to get, I don't want to. Because of the hot security mm. guards or whatever. Like, that's why. <laughs> hot security guards. Yeah. Then I want to look guilty. Then, I, oh, I will. I, I have something to declare. My <laughs> homosexuality. <laughs> I have something to say. <laughs> Just whipping your dick out. You're like, you're in jail. You're in the airport jail. Which? And you're like, would you like to? I've seen a porn start this way. Yeah, exactly. I mean, are, are you going to check if I have any drugs? So were there some sexy security? So let me tell you. So I, what I should have done was I should have just walked out. And then it didn't matter because I had my license anyway. So I should have just walked right to the exit, right? Arrivals, right? However, <laughs> this on, the way there, on the way there, I see this hot police officer. By the way, if you don't live in the Netherlands... Police officers here are tall, handsome, muscly, covered with tattoos. It's crazy. 
So it's making me want to become a policeman. Ex- well, now just that, to be in the locker room. <laughs> now that COVID's easing up, you know, I can get back into that. No. All right. <laughs> no. You would be, it would be really funny. <laughs> oh my God. Can you? No. <laughs> you stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm a fashion police. <laughs> You stop what espadrille? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> shooting Crocs off people's feet. Yeah, <laughs> you leave the house like that. <laughs> How dare you? And I'm like an actual cop. I'm like, this is a real badge. I know I'm sounding absolute batshit crazy, but take off those shoes. Yeah, <laughs> and then we can talk. So sure enough, I see this hot, hot police officer. And I didn't need this information, but all of a sudden something came over me. I just went up to him and I asked him, I'm sorry, I'm new here. I just got here. Can you tell me, like, do I have to wear a mask? What's going on? And he tells me, oh, you can, you can not, you, if you want to, you don't have to wear a mask inside or whatever. And I said, oh my God, thank you. And I take off my mask just to like, oh my, oh my God, you're trying to have like, you're I, in your head, you have this like slow motion reveal of the rest of your face. Like, Which... <laughs> unhooks the one ear and like uh, the hair is just like whoosh whoosh what's Denise Richards moment you know (laughs) (laughs) and he's just like oh (laughs) that's usually the reaction that I get anyway they're like who is this albino faggot (laughs) trying to impress me (laughs) Uh, look a reveal uh, of my face Never, never worked out well. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, no, well, because I never had to hide anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> but clearly, the police officer was not impressed, but he was hot. He also had a, an entire, like, his sleeve was, like, tattooed, everything. Hot. Anyway, so, and then, yeah, anyway, so I, I'm here, and she's fine. She, I found my passport again. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this was a long ass story. <laughs> yeah, but we never got to the point of, what is under the tusk can come let me tell you about me okay (laughs) (laughs) there's several several issues here several issues here i get so first day there i get on grinder and i am horny okay i am so (laughs) horny that i post a picture i had a 20 hour drive 20 hour drive yeah i don't know 15 hour drive 75 coffees i am horny you haven't jerked off in a very long time. I haven't jerked off in a very long <laughs> Except time. Except that one time at the gas station. Yeah. <laughs> As if I haven't done it. But anyway, <laughs> we're not going to go into that. <laughs> Different episode. Different episode. I get on Grindr and I'm so horny. I'm First of all, if you go to Grindr in Italy, a lot of blank profiles, a lot of people that want to be discreet or whatever, and a lot of faceless profiles. My town is no different. And by the way, I know everybody because it's the same people. And I'm like, okay, great. Nobody's new. Like, let me figure it out by the bio. Yeah, exactly. Oh, or by the chest at this point. It's like, oh, this is him. I am so horny. I post a picture on my Instagram, on my public Instagram of me in bondage, basically, and saying, does anybody want to want to fuck or get fucked? Literally, this is what I did. I posted this. It was so Wait, traumatizing. On your Insta? On my Instagram. A story. Did I miss this? I think so. <laughs> Literally, it was a picture of like a, you could see a side of me that was in a straight jacket, a latex straight jacket, and some and saying, "Does anybody want to fuck or this get was, fucked?" Oh my god! I mean, I edited so for like a few the days. desperation, the desperate sweating. It was so traumatizing. I put po- I start posting shit on my Instagram that picture, and then I post funny things like, "Oh, grinder in it." So like part one, people telling you like whatever, and then people telling you they're thirty nine when they're forty five, something like this, it's just stupid stuff. Oh, like I this. do remember this the story of it was like, a serious, and people were loving it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more than my music, which is very upsetting. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm kidding. I got a lot of plays. Uh, whatever get whatever gets you trending, you know. Whatever gets That's me fine. trending. Clearly, it wasn't trending to me in real life because nobody was uh, responding to my very thirsty, horny text on Grindr. Mm. Um, except for this one dude. I would have changed my Grindr photo to this bondage thing, not Instagram. No, but you see, what, what, one of the things there is that... Oh, you connect your Instagram and then they go see that? No, people... Well, it, it's, people don't react to these things... As you would imagine, I've had I've had so many people be like, "Oh, I'm a dominant, but I don't do any of that shit." Like judging kinks, mm. it's very that people judging things that they've never tried. Well, clearly, there's a lot of self-loathing. 
oh. if you're in the blank profile. Also, there's a lot of not trying anything because like who who I don't hate anything. Like kinks are all fine. I mean, also not I'm not fine. saying that a blank profile everywhere is self-loathing, but you know, what but, you, what are you hiding? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, we're uh, fucking over it. Let, also, let's address something. A blank profile is usually usually hides an ugly face. So <laughs> there, there you go. There you go. There you Glad go. that's out there. Usually. Because Usually, no. There's some hot. There are some hotties. But I listen. If on. you don't send a photo right away, don't fucking say hi and then nothing else. Oh, who am I you talking preach. to? Every everybody fucking knows this. Preach. Sick and tired of your shit. Exactly. Block. You know what? Hi, blocked. Exactly. You got, you got five seconds before I block you. Exactly. How's your internet connection? We are not even like that's that's. I, I anyway, different episode. Enough of that. <laughs> This blank profile messaged me and he starts talking to me and it's not, he doesn't send me a picture right away. And I'm like, oh, but it's the only thing that's the only person that's, I mean, you're me desperate right now. at this point. At this point, I was thirsty. So she's desperate, Deborah. Yeah. And this was the morning after. So you can imagine. I was like, I jerked off twice by that. I was like, oh my God. I just, still, I still had so much in the mirror. Left in me. And then he says, oh, just write me on Telegram and I'll send you a picture there. And I'm like, the fuck is Telegram? I was like WhatsApp for Europeans. Oh, I don't know. Isn't WhatsApp in Europe? Yeah, but I, it's weird. Anyway, it's not owned by Facebook. Anyway, some people think yeah. it's like more secure. There's or Signal. Whatever. I was trying to get into Signal, but anyway. Oh, Signal. Yeah, that was a phase. <laughs> that was a hot second. Like like any gays bisexuality. That was a phase when you were fourteen. Yeah. I'm not saying that. Every bisexual, no bisexual, bisexual yeah. people, but anyway, <laughs> I'm saying that if your friend at fourteen goes, I'm bi. <laughs> um, it's yeah, it's fine. Give, let's it's give them fine. a minute. Let's Believe them, them, but usually 17, when they get to 17, 18, gay. Anyway, so, and then on Telegram, you can send this thing like expiring pictures. Like you, it's like, you can do that on WhatsApp. Self destruct, yeah. Self destructing, like CIA spy shit, okay? I'm not used to this. Oh, you can do that on Grind. You can do that everywhere. Mama, if I had known, do you think there would be pictures of me floating around the internet and videos of doing still crazy with, shit? It's called, listen, I used, to, this is what I do. <laughs> Here's my trick. Screen record before you open it. Then you got it forever. You don't know if you want that for later. Revealing secrets, strategies. I live, I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. But. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, Instagram used to not notify when. Uh, if you screen recorded and then opened the video, they do now. Now it it says like you screenshotted. So Instagram knows. I don't know about WhatsApp and all those other things. I'm sure they don't know. Just don't do it on Insta. I'm not okay. Thank you for friends. That. <laughs> if anybody's listening, don't yeah. do it on Instagram. Yeah. However, Telegram, all over the place. Someone was like, "Why are you taking screenshots?" And like, because I think it's hot. It was a beautiful photo of your dick. I don't know. I want to save it on my phone and. Bitch, sell I got a it. library of dicks. A library. <laughs> this is what look. This is gonna be morbid, but if any of your gay friends die, don't get into their phones, or delete the hidden Actually, folders. <laughs> get into my phone <laughs> to delete it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that and then give it to the family because yeah, it's not gonna be cute. Or just destroy it. Why does my family need to go through my phone once exactly, I'm dead? Exactly, exactly. Oh my! I was hiding it from you when I was alive, and I will <laughs> hide it from you when I'm dead. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be back here and haunt your ass because you saw my pictures. I don't want to have some unfinished business. <laughs> I don't want to have to come through as an algorithm and say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to come back as Ben drowned. That was a nerdy. What? Do you remember uh, that? Anyway, anyway. So he sends me this expiring picture and I open it and I'm like, this must be a catfish because this guy is hot. Hot as fuck. Mm. And I'm like, oh, um, thank you. Oh my God, we should meet. Because I'm like, I don't, in my town, I have met so many people that were pretending to be somebody else. I know how to deal with them. Like, you just meet them in a parking lot at, in the dark where they, it's their preferred, <laughs> uh, it's their preferred meeting point usually. Remember what used to sound not safe? Oh. You just meet them in the dark in a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Look, if you're, if you're from my town, there's, 
Actually, don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> don't do what I'm doing, but listen. Don't do what I'm doing, but listen to my story. <laughs> so I'm used to doing this anyway. And then, so I'm not afraid to be like, oh, that's meat, whatever. Um, I have pepper spray. <laughs> and then he sends me another expiring picture and it's, it's the same person, but different. And I'm like, okay, so either you went on Google and Googled the same. Person. And then he sends me an expiring video of him fucking somebody else. Mm -hmm. And that dick was too big. I was like, okay, this has to be a catfish. So I, I just go, I, I work for the rest of the day. And then we were supposed to meet um, in the evening. Actually, I, I was having dinner at my friend's. Because by the, I don't think by that point if we were. Anyway, so he messaged me after dinner. He's like, oh, so I'm here. Um, and so he said to me, I'm not from this town, which made sense to me because he was hot. <laughs> <laughs> No, no shade, no shade. A little bit. Um, a little bit of shade. Did you go to this parking lot? So he says to me, um, so... Well, he I'm, reaches out saying, I'm here, like I'm in the parking lot. Did we agree to a time? We kind of we kind of agreed that we were going to meet, but then I kind of didn't hear anything. And then he says, look, I'm going to be free around 11 and I am here. And I go, okay, perfect. Because I'm, I'm coming. I had my car by that. The Leo Mobile was still here. And there and so I I drove to this point which by the way it was this really funny it was a parking lot outside of this like bar kind of like social events like circle you know like where old people meet in small villages oh a town hall because this no it wasn't even it was one of those like you, you see old people hang Playing out bingo. around this they like, play bingo there yeah exactly like bo uh, yeah, <laughs> what's it called uh, that thing that you throw the balls on the ground and then <laughs> I don't know what that. Because it was in a village next to my town, like right, like bocce ball. Yeah, exactly. Ten minutes away, um, which is hilarious in itself. Straight paper. ball. And I'm looking at. I'm. I'm. I just. I get there earlier because I want to see if this is the same person. Because otherwise, I'm just sprinting and leaving. So also, don't do what I'm sprinting doing. Sprinting and leaving. <laughs> like oh, bye. Sure enough, this yes. guy starts walking towards me, and he is taller than me, hot, muscly. And to my surprise, he clearly wanted to fuck me because, <laughs> which I usually they're hot, taller than me, and muscly, and they don't want to have anything to do with me. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, oh, get it. Uh, I was. I, I so think wait, that was the only he saw your car and he's walking towards you, or you guys are walking to each other? No, no, no. I I'm still in the car because we we were supposed to get in my car, and then he asked me if I knew any spots around to kind of like. Uh, thought basically. Yeah the back seat Outdoorsy Anyway <laughs> I'll open the trunk we'll By the way outside. I was waiting And there was Chad Papal Just hanging around mm. And I thought Oh my gosh Anyway I don't know why I said that I just want to say Chad Papal <laughs> You gotta find the way To plug it in We get it So he gets into my car uh, And you, so you know me You did not say this yesterday I didn't say I, I had, This is a new story <laughs> She has uh, Look Come no. I mean, please. A lot of cum. <laughs> cum. Come on. He gets into my car, and you know how I am. I You're immediately. Like, I like, need to see the dick now. No, no, no. no. I'm like, hi. Oh my god. I'm Leo. Nice to meet. Like this. Like I hung, I'm at an eleven right now because it was so hot. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my. It was. It's eleven by that point, and it's really cold outside. For some reason, it was minus two. Which I was like, why did I come back and take the cold with me? I guess. The, this motherfucker, I think he just wanted to... He was just shy. So he just talks like this. Oh. And he's clearly annoyed by my loud... Um, and. Um, I mean, maybe don't assume he's annoyed. Why? Because he was kind of like... Like a turtle when they put their hand in their neck. <laughs> yeah, but maybe he's like closeted or some shit or well apparently no he because i asked him was so i was like why do you have a blank profile and he said well because i'm not from here and also people use my pictures and i said oh you're just not out of the closet and he said no yeah i am well if he either lied or he was out of the closet and i was just annoying which i mean you know what when you're gonna meet a really hot guy a really hot guy gets in your car Maybe don't start attack, attacking. Like, why do you have a blank profile? Be no, like, I, where do you want to fuck? Let's no. get to it. Oh my god! <laughs> no, actually, because I asked him on, on Grinder about the blank profile, so mm. I was just like, oh my god! I was excited. I was like, oh my god, I'm getting me some dick tonight. Oh, that, that was my mood. I feel like this story is gonna crash somewhere. This story's gonna crash. <laughs> 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 I can't wait. 
How do you not have good stories? (laughs) Uh, The the climax is... Anyway. The climax is... The climax is just like... uh, Sure enough. Terrifying. Terrifying. Sure enough. I didn't know any spots. Of course not. Except for one. McDonald's drive-thru. A cemetery. Oh, God. I mean, I'm in. Which I found last summer because I was walking there. And I went into the cemetery and I saw an old teacher I had traumatized the fuck out of me because she died when she was 40 something right after she taught me. And she was the only good teacher I had. And I saw her by chance in a cemetery. And I thought it would be a good idea to go and suck some dick right next to this motherfucking motherfucker's tomb. You're like, I miss her too. Two birds, one stone. Ah, one stone, mama. You're like, oh, these flowers, they're not for you. Two birds, one stone. One stone. Mm. One tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> Two birds, is, one tombstone. So, That's the title. But that was this. so it's close to the forest. There is nobody, no lights. Who's going to the who's going to the cemetery at eleven? 12 at this point me clearly <laughs> no i know but who else exactly so we're other driving. gays <laughs> it's just full of gays so that's my spot <laughs> it's a there, gay hot oh my spot God, there is a spot uh, the, uh, around my town there's like a there's hills everywhere there's a top there's a hill at the, at the top has a, a so bitch you know about this spot and you didn't take him there because it's full of people I, you literally <laughs> go there and it's dark and you hear people like you hear the wrestling they're like oh is this my sp- oh sorry this is your spot okay bye bye like literally this so uh, I, I wanted to avoid. <laughs> okay, okay. So cemetery, go. Cemetery. We I'm get dying. there, and I'm still talking, and he's like, "Oh yeah, this is." He answers me like, "Yes, no, whatever," and I'm like, "Okay, you just want to fuck, and that's fine." I park the car, and I I turn the car off, and there's still a bit of light right in the car when you turn it off. Yeah. There's no light otherwise, and by the way, I'm blind basically, so I have my contacts, and I still can't see shit. This motherfucker turns off all the lights in the car. And to me, I am blind. I don't see anything. Who gives a fuck? And I hear the noise of... It was clearly the noise of a dick getting out of the cage. Oh, (laughs) I love that. Just a dick falling out of the pants. I was like, okay, okay. So I'm just... I'm using my hands. I'm like, where are you? (laughs) What is going on? Mama, big. Mm. Big, fat dick. I start sucking on that. I'm so happy for you. I'm, I start sucking on that like it was Christmas. I was like, let me get let me get to the bottom of this. And I kind of couldn't, which, oh. I mean, we're big guys. Like, we usually can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you can't, you're like, oh, fuck. I have to, like, but that's a weird. That's a weird car angle. I'm going to give you that. Oh, the, I, I, do you think I finished my story? <laughs> let me finish. Let me Because fi- it was, we're already in a cemetery. What do you want? <laughs> Oh my god, head over your teacher's headstone. <laughs> it was so bad. Tell me you did it. I actually was traumatized when I No, I did we didn't cuz <laughs> no. the plan was But you know what? That there's some like a really big tombstone like f- full on like little mini castles going on sometimes and I'm sure Italy is like gaudy over the top cemetery. You don't know about our cemeteries. They're like cities. Exactly. Have you so, ever like, seen one? No, but like I assume it's very pretty. It, there's a wall around it and you go inside and everything is like white marble and they're really they're not like all over the place like they're it's like yeah, so like ignore the uh, ignore the dead people girl you fucking on white marble That's it's nice. literally like it's de- a, a, like a dead town because it's got walls and everything because it's from tradition or whatever so it's pretty it's a very pretty setting also the forest was beautiful you could see the stars I couldn't see shit, but you could see the stars. <laughs> My head couldn't see anything. My contacts gone. <laughs> I start talking on that dick in that weird car angle because I was the one driving as well. So I had all the pedals and like the gear stick. I'm like, let me get on this dick. And I'm mm. like, I'm six one. So and he was even taller than me. So clearly something was off because the plan was to get out and fuck. However, it was minus two. Fair. This motherfucker puts his inexperienced hand down my trousers searching for my butthole trying to I guess finger me I guess it wasn't fingering whatever he was trying to do he Mm. was violently maybe it was a massage no No, you tell me no 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 no. it wasn't a massage (laughs) that was clearly not a massage violently rubbing his middle finger 
rubbing and pushing his middle finger on my dry ass, douched, but dry <laughs> asshole. Douched, you're welcome, but... <laughs> The friction was unbearable. I was, ble- I was literally, I bled. Okay. Did you? I did. The friction. He was like, wow. and I was thinking, what the fuck? Who, who is this guy? Well, this is where with? you like, you make it sexy, pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Mama, first of all, what is up with gay people that think that just because I douched, I am lubricated to the maximum? Like my ass is dry. Okay, so we're gonna need some help here. My contacts and my ass. My <laughs> dry. My, dry. Both of my ends are completely dry. <laughs> so I was not enjoying it. And then he goes, okay, let me, uh, let's me let get more comfortable. Let's get in the back. Because obviously we weren't going to fuck at that point because we're two tall dudes in the yeah, back of a car. Minus in two it. outside. No. Also, a cemetery. Prius. <laughs> we'll get into the back seat. He pushes the, the seats to the... I mean, I imagine because I didn't see I would shit. say, is there... Wouldn't there be more... I don't know. I'm not trying to fuck in a car. But wouldn't you put both seats down... And then, like, have all that space versus just being in the back. We couldn't put the seats down. We could just push them towards the front. Yeah, but stay in the front and put them down all the way back. Oh, no, no, no. Yaris? No. No, no, no. That's oh, not it's a Yaris, enough. not a Prius. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know if it's better. But in the back seat, because we pushed the seats to the front, mm. it was kind of comfortable. I got on my knees. I did get oh, on Oh, there's knees. room to get on your knees? Yeah, there's room to get on my knees. There's room to get undressed in the car. And I was like, oh my God, I, had, I, have, I have a limo. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. I, all of a sudden, I, I, by the way, in all this, I'm blind. Like, I don't see anything. I, what I, the sounds probably of undressing. Better. <laughs> probably better not to see because undress, you're like, oh, there's so, room to, so much room to get undressed. Yet you're like just looking like a gob- goblin trying to take your clothes off probably that's just me period <laughs> <laughs> hashtag goblin so he gets undressed and i'm like why because you're only like your dick is that what what do you anyway well please get you know the pants get it out of the pants the pants the, the, the pants were not the problem but like why would anyway i'm not here to ask questions because also i was just hearing the uh, these things i was not seeing anything any uh, all that good i was not seeing okay that's so sad. I know. And then I... Turn the middle light on. I, the, girl. Oh, I am willing to kill my car battery I'm not going to see your beautiful chest with the starlight, okay, <laughs> from millions of light years away, shining up on that dick just I for me. I can't see your anus with the light from Uranus. <laughs> Come on now. I can't, <laughs> Orion is not going to get up here <laughs> and illuminate the surrounding just so my fucking blind eyes can see your huge dick, okay? Just when I... That was not happening. So I get my, I take my shirt off and suddenly this motherfucker grabs both of my nipples and squeezes them to the maximum. Okay. And let me tell you about me. I have very sensitive nipples and I am, look, I am used to very like heavy bondage stuff. Okay. So that shit don't scare me. However, this motherfucker hurt me. (laughs) <laughs> he hurt like, I was like You got no nipples me. And a bleeding asshole <laughs> Yeah my, my ass was Literally Because the next day I was like Why am I hurting When I <laughs> Anyway <laughs> Bleeding asshole No nipples Because he ripped them off I didn't see shit But I guess From the pain That's <laughs> just what happened <laughs> Okay And I had to tell him Can you just like, Excuse me Can you be a little bit softer Because I'm <laughs> They're really sensitive And if you touch them I will like I will do my magic tricks However <laughs> If I have no nipples, if they're blue, that's going to be a problem. Yeah. So sure enough, he wraps his beautiful legs oh, around my head. And I just like, and he, he's touching my nipples. So I'm like in overdrive. He comes in my throat, obviously, because. You're welcome. Because I hope people are. Not, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no one. Just no one don't is, tell anyone to listen fine. to this. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> I mean, as if what I said before is better. As if fucking <laughs> next to my dead teacher's tomb. It's like, <laughs> this is where you should stop listening. We should call this two birds, one tombstone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> under the Tuscan cum has different layers. <laughs> There's many. It's a lot of things that happen under the Tuscan cum. Oh, my God. Uh, um, so. Starring Leo. Coming, so it comes in my throat. And obviously, because he's like a top. He doesn't want to have anything to do with me once he's come. Right. Uh, by that point. I'm fine. <laughs> You're like, I need a break. <laughs> yeah, like, also, because this his, his dick was so big, and he liked it when I went really deep. Like, you know when you hear that little thing click, or whatever, and it goes to the back of your throat. Can't breathe, can't do anything, and mm. it hurts. I'm getting turned on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I kind of was, and then I wasn't. Because <laughs> at that point, I was like, this was a bit much. <laughs> well, I don't like it when they're, you know, you've got pain at two other places. Overload, you know? Which is kind of, I can deal with focused pain. <laughs> Anyway, by that point, it wasn't pleasurable for me, okay? Because it was a bit... You're, like, You're done? I'm done. Yeah, exactly. Great. So anyway, so I um, I put my clothes back on. He kindly asked for a tissue, and I was like, great, there you go. Um, and I just put my clothes back on. I get into the... We get back into the front seats, and then we get out of that <laughs> little... Cemetery. Parking spot. <laughs> no, don't call it a parking spot. It's yeah, a cemetery. Yeah, it's a cemetery. <laughs> I say goodbye to my teacher. Mama. Oh, my God. The things she saw. Anyway. <clears throat> and then we drive all the way back. And I'm still peppy. I'm like, oh, that was great. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, he just walks off. Like I, I, I drop him. Disappears the, into the night. Disappears into the Is night. Is there a kiss goodbye? Oh, no. There was oh. no kissing. Oh. I felt like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. Because she goes, oh, no mouth or whatever. Because like, she's a whore, but she's, she won't do it. Sex worker. Sex worker. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Back then, prostitute. Back then. <laughs> now, I'm sex kind, I'm still trying to figure out what level of off- offensiveness we are at with these. We're <laughs> so offensive. I think we are. Um, so there was never just, any kissing. Never any kissing. Which, he was hot, but anyway. And that was, doesn't, oh. I don't know. I don't get, I mean, maybe. I don't get turned on. I would have. I would have been soft dick the whole time. I was. Not except fun. for when he was touching my... Well, not ripping them off. But when he put them yeah. back together, I was turned <laughs> When he glued them back on. I was. It was not good. It was not good. And then you know what I did? I what messaged sh- him back the next day. <laughs> you meant what? I messaged him back the next day asking for some more dick. Well, because it was... Oh, girl. Uh, that's fine. Desolation in that place. Doesn't... Yeah. Part of... It, it was 50% good. 75. He was good. Yeah. The act itself was enjoyable afterwards. You know what I mean? You know when you put it at you when you do when you do something and it's not pleasurable, but then you think about it and you're jerking off. Good. That was that yeah. was it. Okay. And but also he told me that he was not from there. He was from another city, and then he was gonna go back anyway. So clearly, like fucking run. Um, that was the the tea. One and done under the Tuscan sun. One and done under the Tuscan sun. Hmm. So well, and then I didn't sunny. see any more come for the whole time there because apparently my town is full of straight people that shop that wanna don't wanna do shot. Don't wanna do shit. Don't wanna <laughs> <laughs> shot <Shop-hop-hop? laughs> Don't wanna do shot. <laughs> oh god. Shot are time crazy. Are it's fifteen minutes. Okay. So I don't think I have time for my story. No, they, let, let's continue. We could do. I, I, we'll cut the front anyway. They, Fair. Go on. Well, since we're talking about come, since we're talking about come, not that it was in Tuscany at all, but um, when I moved here, I started to uh, well, started to. I looked into because I saw advertisements like everywhere to donate sperm. All right, this is where we're going. I live. (laughs) Right? And I was like, people want my cum. (laughs) Makes makes sense. Gays want my cum. Strap people probably want my cum. Oh, they do. And um, so I like went through the process to become a donor. And uh, so that, oh my God, what an experience. Um... Anyway, you just like like made my appointment. We're most awkward. Hello. It looks like I walk in. It is like, I want, how do I say it? Like the devil wears Prada. Like it's a beautiful office. Oh my God. It's like a magazine. It looks like they work at a magazine, you know? In this city? Here. Yeah. Oh my God. So I go and I'm like, okay. And it's like three girls in like fashion and then also like lab coats. And I was like, (laughs) Okay, you're just twirling around sperm here. Cool. <laughs> was it like a, a like you get into no, this? No, I can't see. A circular like the, the 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 secretary desk is like circular in the middle. It's like a half moon. <laughs> oh my god, girl, it's half. Yeah, and I the, live. And I was like, oh, okay. Up to the counter, everything is just like clean, white, minimalist, beautiful. Anyway, and um, yeah. So she like gives me the cup that's like 
girl, when I go to like an STD testing, they give me a smaller urine sample cup than what she gave me. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Not intimidating at all. Let me see what I can uh, bring for you. <laughs> also, you can't come, you can't jerk off for like 48 to 72 hours. And before. they give you a ti- the tiniest coffee Girl, they, cup? Tiniest coffee cup. What, what do you mean? What was it? Like, they give you like the, the urine cups. Oh, sorry. Like, okay. Do you know? No? Yeah, yeah, I know. Because it, 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 I was just thinking coffee cups to me are really small, but then it depends on Why the Why are you country. saying coffee cup? <laughs> That's so stupid anyway. <laughs> We're not drinking this. So it's tiny. No. It's huge. Oh! Oh! So- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I- <laughs> I thought the problem was that it was okay. no, it's massive. Okay, I, got it. I got it. That's why I'm saying it's intimidating. I thought it was intimidating. I'm like, oh, how am I, how am I going to get it in here? <laughs> no, 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 no. Girl, it was three the dicks. Opposite. No, three dicks don't fit in there. But anyway, <laughs> um, and at the time, I was telling some. There's this guy that I was seeing that I was doing this, and um, like, I go to my room. I go to my little private nook. To watch Aww. my to watch my porn, first of all, most uncomfortable, like weird, like futuristic chair that doesn't have any back legs, and it's like an S shape that like, you know, bounces. And I was like, "What the fuck?" A futuristic rocking chair. What the fuck? Yeah, you know, like just this like edgy, cool furniture. But I was like, "This is not ideal for jerking off." But anyway, <laughs> clearly these women don't know. <laughs> Lumber sexual. Let's go back to it. If it was like a yeah. Flannel, yeah. put that, put some flannel up in here. We're not. Uh, he wasn't in the picture yet. He was in the picture. Okay. Um. And anyway, so I, I, there's just like a desktop. There's, there's a desktop and a sink. You know, that's what the room looks like, and some hooks for your coat. And I'm like, here, I, okay, oh my god, this is the fu- hilarious because. I also told this guy that I was seeing that I'm gonna like send him the like finishing video. I'm, I'm going to fill the cup and send it to you, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> and then to like, oh, no, but actually, I didn't even watch the porn that time. The first time, because we were going to like sext. Okay. I told him when so I was going to do were, it. Okay. And so I'm fully naked in this tiny room because I'm like, well, if we're sexting, I want to give you something, too. I'm not just going to like have my, you know? So I am naked on this plastic S-shaped chair. <laughs> <laughs> Get, getting a sweaty ass on this like weird anyway doing our back and forth whatever and then I'm like how long he's also working from home I'm like how long do I want to have I been in here too long how, do I want to be in here like I can't leave too fast like I know what, you know I gotta get get it going long enough so there's a lot coming out because I gotta fill a fucking half liter <laughs> 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 I'm just like, okay. Anyway, and he, a pint. She had I, gotta, to, I gotta fill a pint. They this give is, you a beer thing. <laughs> oh, this is for you. Got a fucking handle. Um. Anyway, so like, I finish. I was, I send him the finishing thing, and like, hilarious. I bless his heart. You know what a great what a great sport. What did he? Oh no, God! He was he was turned on. Okay, it was okay, it was okay. it was very lovely. So now I have to wipe down de- the shame. Yeah, I like there's some like wet wipes. I like wipe down everything that I touched, even though whatever. And then I'm like, well, I still have this wet wipe. And then I like see this like oh, the one with the dusty desk. I'm just gonna keep <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking keep cleaning, <laughs> fully naked, cleaning this room. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it had a nice lemony smell. I had to keep going. So I fully get dressed and I'm like, here, this feels like this is a new walk. Not a walk of shame, but like also this is the most awkward walk. Like you, you're in sample. You're already feeling awkward. But now like this is my come in a cup. So I go to the, I go back to this half moon desk and this lady at the front who is now speaking to somebody else, right? Oh, my God. And I get, you just want to, like, leave your cup and go, right? But I also, it's been the, it's the first time I've done this. I don't even know. I'm like, is right here fine? And everybody's eyes, I just feel like, look at my sample. That you know? <laughs> and, right? 
like huh? and to me i was like oh i was like not ashamed but i was like I, it looks it doesn't look like a lot once it's in a cup were you proud of it i wasn't yeah. i was like Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know <laughs> so i see this guy <laughs> and i was like you know what this guy you're fucking welcome you know you see my tiny little sample you're you're feeling good going in there. You're like, well, I could do that. Uh, yeah, I could do better. And I then could you better than that. I have no one. I had no one to judge. Yeah. Had, anyway, so I was like, well, at least he could feel good about that. I leave. Whatever. Next time. <laughs> I still, hold on. I know, I, right? I still can't get over the fact that, what, that I kept cleaning. But <laughs> <laughs> just kept on going. Well, <laughs> well, I have this wet wipe. I might as well just do something you about You know, it. <laughs> once it's nice, it's fun. Um, here I thought my first sample was not adequate girl second one first of all this is like I have to you gotta like fit this in your schedule you gotta plan not to come for 48 hours to Which, me that's hard that's hard I don't know about you guys out there that's hard comment below right the morning and night Mor- <laughs> that's that's how I do. meh at least once a day. Once a day. Once a day is fine. It's a once a day. Once Keeps a, the doctor away. Once a day. <laughs> okay. Well, clearly. <laughs> it doesn't. Cause <laughs> clearly you can't it doesn't because <laughs> I'm visiting them. Um, but yeah, so I would either schedule it before work or right after. And like either way, it was like I'm rushing to come to like bust a nut and rush to work. Bust or, a nut. Or I'm like... Like keeping the place open because I'm jerking off in this tiny room. Like if they were trying to close, they're trying to close at like five or whatever, yeah, yeah. you know. And I'm like, oh, well, I just well, I just walked in and I'm like, well, I'm trying to give you a nice sample here. You're cleaning, but also <laughs> here I am cleaning in the back. Anyway, and also now, now that I'm not the I wasn't sexting the other times, I'm like, well, let me see this. Uh, all this porno that you've got. <laughs> I go to the gay section, all this, oh my God, the library. And this girl, she was like, do you want to try the VR glasses? The f- oh my God. Right? I was like, I I mean, I was like, I, I have to go to work. Like I can't, like I, I got a rush. I don't have time to like deal with what the fuck VR porn is. Is there a per... <sighs> is there a plot? What oh is my going god! On? What is going on? Do, do I get to do you act? Do stuff? <laughs> Am I acting? Ooh, that's hot. That's so hot. I did not do it because I was rushing. <clears throat> um, but so me if feeling rushed and whatever, I like this tiny fucking sample. I had to just fucking like squeeze out. I was like, "There's got to be more." This is embarrassing. And there was anyway, but also. They tested my cum. They love it. It's got lots of swimmers. So happy about that. But now, three samples later, and the whole profile created and whatever, family history, whatever, whatever, um, my ex-boyfriend, who shall rename nameless, but um, gave me syphilis like three, four, or five years, however many years ago. 20, 20, 2016. Okay. Gave me some syphilis. And that will always stay in your, well, it doesn't stay in your system, but like. You can test it. It'll always, you'll always test like that you had syphilis. Yeah. So in the cum, it'll always test positive. So then they don't want to like keep someone on that will always test. They won't know if you have like a new STI or a, you know, so. So I can't donate sperm. I can't donate sperm. Because of my ex-boyfriend. How very dare you. How very dare you that because of you... How much were you going to get for that cum? Uh, 40 bucks a load. And you can go every 48 hours. Oh my God. I'd be there every th- three <laughs> times a week. I'm like, <laughs> jer- jerking out? I'm not coming for free ever. Oh my God. If you could monetize that... Right? Wouldn't you? I mean, <laughs> I do it for free to my own with my own enjoyment, and that's it. Exactly. Okay, no. I and make TV <laughs> and make strap people happy and give them bebes. It's so funny to me that I'm picturing you just walk into 1965 
futuristic furniture white yeah office. it's exactly what it is like egg chairs and you cleaned the table you kept on cleaning yeah there was a foot you know it was, it, it's wet it's like you're wasting the wet wipe so i, I was like you got to use it all up <laughs> i hope they appreciate it could you imagine if they have a camera and they're like why is this guy cleaning? why is he fully <laughs> naked yeah that i i am giving i am helping my friend out I have another story for Fully Naked, but I think we're going to keep it for another episode. How okay. about that? Yeah, keep it for another episode. This is just about cum. This is about cum. Cum. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed Under the, the Tuscan, Tuscan Cum. cum. <laughs>